Welcome back everyone, I'm the Depressed Dior and this is Lancaster Mobile Apex Season 8. So again, this is on the second time slot. Um, matches have been a lot harder in this time slot, to say the least, even at Silver 2. Um, but it's uh, even though it's a little stressful, um, actually I've been really happy about how this box has been coming together. Um, it feels like I'm actually like you know doing some decent strategies and not just the usual same same you know rush in with Angelina over and over again. Anyway, um, our opponent is very much rushed down. Uh, not much AOE. Uh, did take uh, Amelia. Uh, one thing I I didn't mention uh, in one of the previous videos I mentioned I did a few off uh, off video polls on the on the Lucretia banner. I did get an off-banner um, Amelia, uh, so my Amelia is actually one, uh, like 35 shards away from getting uh, getting six stars. Uh, I don't intend on using her though, but uh, yeah, so got to see Amelia, which is nice. Band their Aries, nothing too special. They go for my Tensei Jessica. Um, with how this box is looking, they're trying to try to get rid of all my my long-range characters essentially, or anyone that provides teleportation. Um, I went and got rid of that Rosen CL. Um, this was mainly because there's a good chance I was going to be using Lucretia or someone that can do debuffs like Illustrial. Um, so I wanted to go ahead and just take advantage of that. Um, also, since I was going to be relying on long legs possibly, um, I did not want to deal with anything from um, old Landius there. So got rid of him as well. Oh, actually, the other reason um, I got rid of Old Landius is Old Landius, I believe, can faction buff uh, Kyura. Um, also, Old Landius is the only character besides Juggler himself that can buff Juggler. So, took Hilda. As I mentioned, they're predictably going after all my um, all my long legs in Assassins. Um, they went for SP Sherry. So at this point, uh, the thing I took into consideration is the only person that can buff, faction buff Sherry is Elwyn. So I got rid of Elwyn and got at this point I didn't want to deal with any teleporting shenanigans, so I got rid of um, uh, SB Hine. Took Lucretia. They go after my SB Sherry and they take, uh, take out Zerda at that point. Um, so no real danger. Uh, so they took Florentia at this point. So the only person that could buff Florentia is Hilda. So I'm going to be going after her. Um, now as for the last band they did, um, I think they should have. I think they could have been okay with. Well, actually, yeah, I think banning both is probably the best call since I do have the attack buff. I was thinking maybe just banning one of them because you know you can ban the faction buffer, but wouldn't have stopped me. So Hilda, uh, Yulia. I did not want to deal with Yulia self reses. Um, that was just going to be a big problem. Also, she passively heals all the time. But without Hilda, um, they can't get any uh, strategies onto Florentia. So I was completely good there. Also, this reduces them down to two tanks. I mean, technically, Bernhardt's a tank, but no one uses them for that. Um, so I was going to try to force them to pick a tank. Um, I took, I picked up Karyura at this point. Since I do have Lucretia, I could definitely attack buff her. They start going for my healers, which I was completely okay with. Um, they ended up taking Amelia of all people, so I was like, okay. Well, the only person that can faction buff Amelia is ironically Bernhardt. So at this point, I was like, well, I can. I have Hilda, so I don't really need to worry too much about uh, Helena doing anything too nasty. I mean, her her terrain in AOE could be a little annoying, but obviously the biggest threats here are Juggler and Bernhardt. I am going to be leaving them with Liana though. So yeah, took those two. Take Florentia since I have Hilda at this point. They go after those characters. Probably long legs and terrain manipulation. They take Liana, so at this point, uh, and I take Illustrial. So I don't have a faction buff for Illustrial, but I do have attack, uh, uh, mass attack from Lucretia. I technically also have Gossible from um, Kyura. I also have mass attack from Florentia, so I have tons of op, op, um, bunch of options as far as attack buffs are concerned. I just don't have much for in the form of defense. Um, now one thing I was immediately concerned about, of course, is my opponent has both access to Rush, Act Again, and another Act Again. But I was kind of saved from a little bit of that. Mm -hmm. 
So one thing to note, this Florentia is five stars, not six stars. So it starts out with only four strategies, which means she cannot get do act again. She can do two rushes and then she'll be completely out of strategies. Uh, unless of course, yeah, that's it. Um, Resounding Might will potentially give an extra strategy or two. But beyond that, she doesn't have the passive that gives her strategies from kills. So don't really need to worry too much about it. They did, of course, take Mass Attack with Florentia. So that's going to be their main source of buffs. Uh, Liana, of course, took Gossipal. No surprise there. Standard Ka Actually, sorry, not Standard Kyura. Um, this Kyura only has her 3 cost for an attack skill and took Faith. So not sure why, but took Faith. And then, of course, has Starshine. Uh, this one is a 5-star Kyura, not 6. Um, and then, of course, you got Sherry here. Um, this Sherry did take ranged troops, took Earth Elf Knights, um, and then, of course, Shadow Raid. So this Sherry very much is going to be trying to bypass guard and kill people. Um, and, of course, she has her 3C, which is not very effective with the Earth Elf Knights, but can do stun still. And then there's, of course, Amelia. I'm under the assumption that this Amelia has her exclusive weapon, which makes it so she can counterattack from practically any range. Um, so we got that to deal with. Other than that, it's a standard kit with Fair Fight, Divine Sanctuary, and Justice. Alright, um, things over here. Uh, Kyura went with the Faceless. Uh, oh, by the way, yeah, their Kyura went Sorceresses, mine went Faceless. Um, Hilda, I went ahead and switched back to Crystal Molders, because uh, of course Kyura was the thing. Um, standard Illustrial. Florentia, I just went straight healing with her. And Lucretia, again, I just took Mass Attack. So biggest danger is the Sherry. Like I mentioned before, the Sherry can has Earth Elf Knight, so there's a very high chance that she can get kills with Shadow Raid against my squishy characters. Um, with Rush, her range right now is all the way to here. She can get all the way to here just on her own. And there's definitely some cheeky shenanigans where Sherry can move into position, get rushed, and then get act again. Or just, you know, get rushed and then just take the initiative next turn. Um, so it's going to be kind of a little bit of, of a game of cat and mouse right now, trying to measure each other's range. So Amelia's 3C goes up, no big deal. Um, at this point, I fell back. Um, I was not, I did not want to risk getting rushed by uh, Sherry at this point. Uh, the, Sherry did move in. Yeah, so this position here. Uh, Hilda was here, so if I had done anything else besides, you know, doing my turns, there was a chance that she could just run in and get a kill. Uh, only, it would have to be done in a certain order, but at this point I was just trying to play it safe. Yep. So yeah, as you can see we're kind of just hanging back here. It's like, I'm not concerned about Kyura. Kyura can guard bypass, but Sherry's the one that can multiple action just wreck me. Um, I start moving my poppet up up top just to kind of give myself a little bit of range as far as swapping if I need to. Okay, so no rush. So I can at least do some stuff. Um, I do have faction buff, so casting, casting rush is pretty free. So that gave me a lot of coverage with Kyura at this point. So I can go all the way up to here. Um, I can attack... Um, I can attack at 3 range with her um, special skills. So of course my, of course they fell back at that point. So at this point I was I was kind of comfortable with just inching in now since they pulled back with, uh, with Sherry. Um, if Sherry had not pulled back I would have killed with Carriera. I was completely fine with that trade. So I did move in with Illustrial at this point uh, because I expected my opponent to the situation was either my opponent was going to immediately cast Rush, or my opponent was not going to cast Rush, in which case I was going to do Act again and then kill, go move in to get a get a kill in. But there's a good chance I wasn't wasn't going to get a kill on Sherry uh, for this match. I couldn't remember if Illustrial had Twilight Star or not. I'm about to find out find out that answer. Um, pretty sure that this Sherry has um, last rights. Uh, she does have a self res, but it's prop uh, since she's holy now, she can actually get it from a helmet. Uh, that gives her a self res versus fixed damage, I believe. So we got that going. 
So at this point, I had to, I had a sudden strike because if I didn't, Sherry's going to run in from the act again that's coming. Uh, since I did do an act again, um, my opponent gave up and did gave up that strat. Um, at this point, I was kind of torn. Um, I was pretty, I was about a hundred percent sure that I was not be able to, I would not be able to get the kill on Sherry. But I tried it anyway. So raw attack. Did okay damage, but not enough to kill. So roundabout, got back into got back into trees. Uh, but their Kyara does have Twilight Star, so it breaks my last rights. Yeah. And just takes me out. Now, usually, as I mentioned in previous combats, usually when you lose a character it's really bad for Kyura. But since I have a Poppet, I still technically have five units, so I didn't actually lose the passive from Star Slash yet. If I lose another character, that will change. Um, but since they were busy attacking Illustrial, I went and just decided to test out attacking Amelia. Amelia did have first strike and can uh, counter from any range, essentially. So I hit with free strike. Went pretty well. And then we're just going to fall back. And then I move in with Kyura. Do magic shine. Get my first kill on Amelia. She self reses. So while they were busy dealing with Lustrial, I, went, I was trying to whittle away their tank. Alright, so here's Resounding Might. Only hits two targets, so it wasn't enough to get an extra. Actually, I think that might have been enough. Yeah, it was enough. So, got a bug. Refresh some of her uh, strategies. Went ahead and used that to do battle support to heal Amelia to full. So I went ahead and used this opportunity to go ahead and get rid of the debuffs I got. Get Rush up and running. Just in case my opponent decided to do anything weird. And I decided to use this opportunity to get rid of Florentia. Florentia is not really a big threat at this point, but I didn't want to deal with any more of that rush shenanigans. And I wasn't gonna I didn't feel comfortable that I was gonna be able to kill Amelia in one go. So three on four, technically five, because I have a poppet. Or sorry, four on uh, sorry, four on four at this point with a poppet. I completely forgot they had Kyura still. Yeah, so unfortunately Gospel's up, so I can't get any debuffs up. For a strike again. Yeah, not enough damage, unfortunately. Uh, Tree Guards actually have really good defenses when they're at 100% life. Uh, but my opponent... So the reason why I was okay with this for the most part uh, was my opponent's Star Slash was on cooldown. So she can't guard Pi Pass right now, and even even if she could, she probably wouldn't be able to get the kill. So using this opportunity to go ahead and uh, refresh buffs. Sherry's still at large, unfortunately, and there's not much I can do about it. Her she hasn't used any of her skills. So this is a regular attack, by the way. I want to point this out. Regular attack, no buffs. Nearly kills herself. <laughs> Star Shining procs, of course, so you can just teleport three squares and go back. Yep. Alright, so at this point I have enough to do another act again if I need to. Breeze proc, no surprise. Fell back as far as I could. Um, there's not much I can do to save Kayura at this point. So I'm just going to refresh my other cooldowns. The good news is I do have initiative here. So I went ahead and used this opportunity to go ahead and kill their Kyura before they kill mine. Because what could have happened, um, even if I had moved Kyura back, uh, what would have happened was Sherry could have attacked at range against Hilda, uh, Proctor, Proctor act again, and then just move in and kill whoever she wanted with uh, Shadow Raid. So one way or the other, that that Sherry was going to get a kill. So I might as well take out the Kyura as much as possible. And 
if I'm going to be losing a unit anyway, Kyura's buff is going to wear off. Or her passive is going to be negated soon anyway. So giving up Kyura for their Kyura was completely fine by me. Uh, I believe Exposed Weakness just makes the, uh, makes the target more vulnerable to critical hits. Yeah, so got the kill, fell back at that point. Uh, the good news is Shadow Raid is currently on cooldown. It's not going to last very long though, that cooldown. Uh, thanks to the act again, uh, she's going to get it back in essentially two rounds. So. I need to do as much as I can in this time frame. Uh, obviously, the mist is closing in. She has tons of coverage, and in two rounds, she'll also have her act again, again. So it's just I need to deal with as much as much of this as possible before she gets another chance to assassinate. So teleported. Uh, so the magic pulse was actually important here. Um, her um, her cooldowns were both at one at that time. So using it actually gave me Impure Shockwave again. Yeah. Yeah, giving, the, giving her the hammer is nice. I do lose out on some intelligence uh, because I'm using the hammer, but getting the passive heals is just really useful. And since Gospel had worn off, by the way, I got all of these buffs that can't be dispelled, or debuffs that can, can't be dispelled. So at this point, I can definitely kill this Amelia. Also, moving here pretty much ensures I'll be able to get the kill because um, the Act Again's range is 4, so I can Act Again Lucretia and finish off the tank. Which is exactly what I'm doing. So, free strike. I think her buff was down as well, so uh, she couldn't actually counterattack. Alright, so no act again. Also attacking in melee, so the troops are not going to be as effective. Going to be doing the 3C here, which can stun. She nearly kills herself. Stuns my... Uh... So this stun cannot be dispelled, by the way. Yeah, it... Can't be dispelled. So yeah, um, essentially what's going to happen here is uh, this is going to buy a turn to allow Sherry to kind of... Essentially what's going to happen is Leon is going to act against Sherry and kill two targets. Because she can very easily kill someone with Shadow Ray, be in range to do act again, and then attack something else. So that's the goal. So I need to kill Sherry right now. Like this turn. Um... She does have last rights, so there's a good chance I wouldn't be able to kill with Lucretia. Also, I don't have, uh, I don't actually have any attacks left, or I don't have any attack skills off cooldown. My Arcane Golem also has nothing, <laughs> no, no abilities active. So, and I just healed, so I'm going to be doing Rush on my Poppet. She's going to act again, so it's all or nothing. I move in with my poppet. This is just to get rid of the uh, last rites. Uh, unfortunately, I did give some fact buffs to her, to her, and then I'm able to attack normally and just take her out completely. Um, just real quick. I just want to see what the. Uh, yeah, it was 16, it was, a little, yeah, it was a little less than 17, yeah, it was about 16 and a half thousand health. I just want to see what the damage was. She did get healed as well from the helmet, but I did, yeah, I still had, I had 21,000, so I had a pretty good leeway. So yeah, at this point, my opponent can't do anything. But yeah, crazy match. A lot of fun. Definitely getting used to dealing with Sherry. <laughs> Uh, I haven't had an opportunity to use Sherry <laughs> on my end. Um, but yeah, their tank actually tanked. <laughs> my my Florentia literally did nothing but healed. Um, so good stuff there. Alright, so with that, we'll go ahead and confirm. 
I think I'm gonna go ahead and call this a video. Uh, a lot of these matches have been taking a lot more, lot more time to actually commentate. Um, sorry if it's been a bit rambly as usual, but uh, good news is I am literally one win away from uh, from silver one. So we'll see how that goes. So uh, I'm Dita Prestio. This was Lancaster Mobile Apex Season Eight. See you guys later.